All right, guys, here we go. So um, this is the brand new Kindle Fire 8-inch tablet. Uh, just came out about two weeks ago. We're talking early June 2017. Uh, it is maybe the sixth gen or something like that. I have no idea. Anyway, it's uh, well beyond the second generation uh, Kindle Fire tablet. Uh, the Cloud Library app is compatible with everything second gen and later for the Kindle Fire tablet. I was not sure whether it was going to be compatible with this latest generation. That's why we bought this uh, to make sure day of it worked. Okay. So uh, first thing, I just want to reassure you that it will work. It may not work the first try. You may have to restart your device afterwards. You may have to uh, download it two or three times. And I apologize for that. It's just that the uh, the Kindle Fire is not really designed to have outside apps installed upon it so they make you jump through some hoops to make it work and also it just uh, you know they don't support it after they after you do so so here you go anyway here we go so you begin by uh, pulling down this pane from the top okay and tapping on the settings button there that'll bring you to your settings there are device settings personal settings and system settings in your personal settings area you tap on security and then you tap see where it says apps from unknown sources under advanced here I'm going to turn that on it's going to give you a warning that says hey buddy you're going to uh, you know it's not a great idea to be installing all kinds of crazy apps and stuff because some of them can be malicious and that's absolutely true I assure you that the cloud library app is not malicious but um, there is, we, we can actually turn that back on later just to make sure, uh, turn back off rather later, just to make sure that you don't accidentally download something else that is potentially malicious. Okay, so now we're done with our settings. That's all we have to do. Go back to the home screen. So then we want to go to our Silk browser here and we're going to type in to the address bar www.yourcloudlibrary.com. I've obviously I've been there earlier so. Uh, instead of you watching me uh, type, I'm just going to tap on that. It's just Y-O-U-R-C-L-O-U-D-L-I-B-R-A-R-Y.com, and it'll bring you here. And right away, you see the Kindle Fire, available for Kindle Fire. You're going to tap on that link. It's going to give you a full explanation of how to install this on a Kindle Fire, uh, but I'm telling you all of that right now anyway, so you can basically ignore that. And what you need to do is just tap on this little button that says download third gen Kindle Fire app. If you have a second gen Kindle Fire, you're going to tap on download second gen Kindle Fire app. If you have anything beyond second gen, so third through whatever, you're going to tap on download third gen Kindle Fire app. You know, wait, wait a second, and that's going to pop up. You're going to tap view. I like to tap view anyway, and then it will watch it download. So you can see that little orange progress bar moving along. And in time, it will be downloaded. Okay, so then you're going to tap right on that file. Just go bam. And then you're going to tap on install down here. And then you're going to wait. Again, we've got a, an orange progress bar. I don't know why I'm going out of focus. I put you into manual focus mode. Please stop doing that. Okay, so anyway, if you can see it, it's kind of blinking in and out of focus. I'm sorry about that. That's the camera. Right over here, it says open. I'm going to tap on open, and then the app will open. And now it should probably be in focus pretty well. Okay, um, so from here, you're going to tap on the screen. You're going to pick the state. You can pick the, pick the library. For, for me, I'm going to pick buckles. I'm going to type in the um, card number. Tap login. And then I can see the books that I have checked out. I can, uh, you know, browse for new books. And of course, I can see what's in the featured lists and all the stuff that you would normally do in the iOS or Android app. In fact, that's extremely similar to the Android app. Uh, so if you're used to that, this is really, really pretty much the same thing. Okay. Um, now, since we're done installing it, first of all, let's go back to the home screen and let's find it on our home screen. It's going to be way down at the bottom. 
tap and hold it, drag it all the way to the top, because you know that the Cloud Library app is the most important thing on your tablet. So put it right at the top. Only sort of joking about that. Um, and then we're going to make those setting changes again so that you don't accidentally uh, download and install some, some, some garbage. So just uh, slide down from the top again. Come on there. All right, tap settings, tap security, tap the little switch ne ne next to apps from unknown sources, and turn it back off. So now you're not going to have to worry about anything else um, mysteriously ending up on your computer or on your uh, your Kindle Fire that's going to maybe cause you some issues in the future. Okay, I hope that was very helpful, and uh, that is all. Uh, please send your questions to downloadable at buckles.org, and, um, well, actually, before we go on, say it didn't work for, for some reason. Uh, I would say, you know, keep your settings set at, uh, ba -ba -ba, keep, keep this on for a few few more tries. You might restart the uh, Kindle Fire. That's what I would do first. Restart it. If at, at any point within the install process or the download process or anything this fails, restart the Kindle Fire. Make sure that your settings are right so that you can install apps from unknown sources. And then go back into the Silk browser, find the, the download, tap the button to download it again, when it gets fully downloaded, tap on it, tap install, and then uh, hopefully that works, goes through, you know, everything works there. Uh, just keep doing it. Uh, if you have to do it two, three, four times, that may just be the way it is. Um, I would also, you know, when, when you get around to it, uh, go into the downloads folder in your, uh, in the Silk browser and, you know, clean out all this junk that you've just, uh, you know, downloaded. And that's a good idea to do anyway, even if it just works the first time. But just trust me on this, it's really going to work eventually. It's not going to take you an entire day. It's not going to take you an hour, most likely. As long as you have pretty fast Wi-Fi, you can do this in... Usually you can do this in 30 minutes. If you really have a tough time, you know, 45. Okay? Um, uh, thanks for watching and uh, send me your questions.